Hey, today I have uh, some first impressions on Assassin's Creed Mirage, uh, the game that is coming out uh, to, well, on the 5th. I'm recording this on the 4th uh, to do all the legalities. Uh, thank you to Ubisoft for providing me with this game. Uh, this was given to me as a free code uh, for PC. Uh, I have partnered with them to produce uh, this, this kind of first impressions video uh, because I am an Ubisoft content creator as a group of people that they give um, access to certain uh, campaigns and stuff like that with some of their newer games uh, and all that. So uh, now that that is out of the way, <laughs> I do want to point out that there is something weird about this program. So um, I've been grandfathered into this as a star player. Uh, if you've been following me for long enough, you'll know back in 2018, I was an Ubisoft star player for the Division 2. I got to go to E3 back when that existed and see the the, the, the worldwide uh, reveal of that game and all of that. It was super cool. Uh, and, and this creators program is something separate. And I actually don't even come close to the requirements. You have to have so many views on YouTube or so many viewers on Twitch and things like that. Uh, but I was grandfathered in for Star Player. The weird thing about it, though, is that uh, through the program, you can get free codes and things like that. The problem is, is that for the people who got the codes through the creator program, they got it at uh, on the morning of the 4th of October uh, at the exact same time that the embargo was up for the non Ubisoft content creators who they gave codes to a week ago and who uh, are, have already revealed their reviews because they've had the game for a week, they've beaten it and they've made content already uh, to release on the embargo. I, this is a this is kind of a, a rant that maybe you don't care about. I don't see the point of, of doing that. Why not give your content creators access to the game at the same time as everyone else uh, under NDA, obviously and let them you know if this is supposed to be some kind of like you know way to you know help uh content creators that they feel like uh are, are worthy and, and not necessarily they're going to be positive towards them but that won't be toxic and things like that which i assume is the goal uh and will be uh you know creative and reasonable and give like if they are criticisms they'll give like constructive criticism right um, it seems kind of weird to have this tiered system where it's like, oh, we'll give you a code, uh, but not, you know, it, you're, you're going to miss out on any exclusivity here. So but there's my side ramp. As for the game, I'm going to have some of the gameplay playing in the background here. Um, it's fine. <laughs> it's it's interesting. Like, I love this idea of going back to a more bare bones Assassin's Creed game where uh, it has kind of more Assassin's Creed one and two vibes, which, which just does, uh, as opposed to the last few that have been more like, you know, slasher shooter, looter shooter things uh, where they've been more like open world RPGs uh, and not really the old school Assassin's Creed games. This game is a thing that a lot of people have asked for for a long time. Um, and and I think it's going to satisfy that group pretty well. I think that the soundtrack, the voice acting, uh, the animations for the most part, um, the, the setting, the environment uh, are, are all great. Very, very nice. This Anvil next engine is showing its age, though. Um, you know, engines are just collections of tools, and I think a lot of gamers put too much emphasis on what engine and, and, and all this. Uh, but, you know, this is the engine that all of the Assassin's Creed ha have been on, at least the modern ones. Uh, Far Cry, Ghost Recon, uh, you know, Ubisoft is making a move towards the Snowdrop engine with some of their other franchises. And it kind of makes sense because this game looks old. It, it does not look great. Uh, if you're watching the gameplay footage, I was playing this on ultra high settings with DLSS turned on. Um, I have a 5800X AMD processor, a 4070 Ti and 32 gigs of RAM. And for playing at that uh, settings level, I am very surprised with how just truly awful some of this game looks. The character models, some of the textures, like it's weird where some of the texturing looks really great, like on their clothing and in the environment, but their skin and hair and eyes and just, man, they, this looks, it lo just looks really old. And it it's probably working off of pretty antiquated technology at this point. Um, I assume since this was a Valhalla, uh, 
DLC before it became a, its own game. I'm assuming it's just running off of that version of the engine or a very similar one to that. And uh, it just it, it, it's kind of rough. I, I think it looks kind of bad. And, uh, you know, when we you know, there's been all this discussion recently about Starfield and Cyberpunk and Baldur's Gate and uh, how all these games, you know, are setting a bar or aren't. Um, this is one that I think uh, was kind of on the bad side of all of that. Um, I, I think that it's kind of weird. Uh, and the game looks like this at this point, and I think there's a reason that you're seeing a lot of Ubisoft franchises move to Snowdrop, which does this stuff a little bit better, especially the newer versions of it, and why you're seeing a lot of other uh, dev studios move to Unreal Engine 5 and, and New Tech. So. Um, Overall, the, this I've only dabbled in this game for a little bit. Uh, some of this footage you've seen and beyond. Um, it's fun to move around like the old Assassin's Creed games. It has some of those old charms. It also seems like it's maybe regressed in a little in a little bit or just doesn't feel as updated as it should. Um, I'm excited to actually play through the game, see what the story is all about, see what the missions look like and all that, and to do a proper review later on. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to leave it with this. You can check out the rest of this footage from the intro of the game here and expect to hear me talk more about this on my podcast, The Bonfire, which is on all podcast platforms and this YouTube channel. Uh, and I'll talk about it. Uh, you know, maybe we'll do some streaming and stuff like that here in the next week or two subscribe to the channel if you want more gaming news uh, please like the video if you did leave a comment down below with what you're thinking about assassin's creed mirage uh, catch me all over the internet as bond diesel including over on twitch where i stream a couple of times a week that's all i have for this one so until next time but she could not resist wonder what it is about these ancient baubles that fascinates her so kick up some sand basim the sun casts a long shadow. Let us not keep their wish waiting. I cannot bear another lecture. These contracts. It is quite a few Darwish has pushed your way now. He knows I will come through. You have his trust. That much is clear. Do you suppose you have theirs? These shadowy types? I should hope so by now. Then they should show it. You take all the risk and they offer little in return. They are liberators, Nihal. Not merchants. I know the stories. Still, the price of liberty should be enough to feed us. this contract I do not want you to mistake my words for pestering I am only looking out for you Yasadiki it is no inconvenience to stand up to our oppressors as the hidden ones do do you think yourself some hero of tomorrow the next Gilgamesh no I am merely the son of a public servant who dedicated his life to the betterment of his people only to be slighted and forgotten but, I am honored you think I could reach such heights. I may just aim for them. That is not at all what I said. It is what I heard. Such crowds. Something important must be happening. The Khalifa has been summoned to the Winter Palace. It is surely his wealthy retinue that drives this crowd. Perhaps they're in the mood to offer donations. Ah, I see your meaning. 
A little sleight of hand to sharpen our wits. If this contract will not feed us, the Hilafa might as well. That merchant has left his purse on the table. An easy one to begin with. Better leave before they notice. Liz, Liz. Come here! Ready yourself. I will pick them out. A keen eye and an agile hand. A formidable duo. Hmm. There. The boisterous one. He must have something of value. Sneaky, sneaky. And over there, by that stall, she's got some coin. Well done. You truly are the master thief of Anbar. Is that jealousy I hear? Hardly, O oh great looter of purses. Insufferable. Come, we are late to Durwishes. tales we will hear today. Tall ones, most certainly. Steal anything good today. I mean, how is your knee? Much better, Basim. Wrapped it and rested a few days, like you said. Good. So long as each day is better than the last and you take care not to extend yourself, you will recover fine. Has this happened to you before? Is that why you know how to treat it? I am no stranger to scrapes and bumps, but I have learned to prevent them. And so should you, if I may. Your sandals are worn and cannot grip the ground. Your knees are taking the brunt of your movements. We need to find you something better. Something that fits. But that part is not so easy. The mosques have plenty. I am sure to find a better pair there. Uh, uh, if you will not pass judgment. Ha! Huh. Do not look to me. That will be between you and Allah, ya Sadiqi. Ahlan! Basim! Come here! Come here! Vai, 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 vai. Here is the lazy boy. I've been waiting on you. Someone has to plan our meals. <laughs> Hold. Food. I would not flaunt that around the markets. Trust me. Go to Zaida's. 
She uses lots of butter. That she does. You look weary. Are you well? It is nothing a little adventure will not fix. What do they need? A shipping ledger at the harbor. It is worth nothing by itself, but the information it contains is valuable to them. This is child's play. Do they not have anything more difficult? I can do more. Never mind your ego. The Khalifa's guards are here in number, and you would do well to remember that. You worry for me more now than when we lived in Baghdad. My worry is the same. I've only grown too old and too tired to hide it. Bring the ledger back here and do it swiftly. We have not talked about my fee. And we won't. Not until the deed is done. You know how they are. Shocking. He is just a messenger. And you are still an errand boy. You can do this one on your own. I saw them with all the soldiers parading into the Winter Palace. Did they have swords and teeth? You are on your own, Basim. What was the final tally of what we received? Sixteen crates. One chest, half a dozen satchels. Only three crates remain, last time I checked the ledger. Give their handlers until tomorrow evening. If they don't show by then, we must assume they've forgotten about their wares. Open them up. Keep whatever catches our eyes. Dump the rest. Wait here. If I am seen, I will have to flee. Good thing I can outrun these sagging guards. Locked. A minor delay.
going on? What the? There. That may be what... I wonder what secrets this ledger holds. Maybe I can get the old Grouser Derwish to squeeze a hint out of our contact. We could use some eyes around the city. I'll see what I can do. She looks important. You should haggle for a better fish. Oh, Basim, what timing? Did you get it? Without a fuss. Give it here. You are one of them. it was delivered this morning. You're certain it is the chest you seek? I am certain. Hey, the boy. You need something stolen? I am your man. Durwish can attest. He has given me all your contracts. Then you have done your part. I can do more. Two of my best men died in this pursuit. I doubt a street thief would fare much better. Then let me join you. You have two openings. We should take half this fee for that insult. Ah. Thank you, Darwish. Listen here, Basim. You want to keep working for me? You keep your head down and your mouth shut. <laughs> 